race i have had experiences with two presidents two presidents in ghana president john mahama president nanadu danko ekufuadu these two me for the funeral and one day i went to columbus ohio to attend a meeting pastor rod parsley was preaching he got to mommy he told the whole congregation you guys don't know how this woman of god is anointed She's, he said when his mother-in-law when his mother was alive she used to say anytime she came around mommy she was anointed for three days and the anointing stayed on her <laughs> by just being around mommy i'm sure that day when pastor rod Pastor was talking about you you were wondering whether she was talking about whether he was talking about another person i saw mommy was looking at him like this because you know we didn't know that is the impact we have on them but i'm sure if i had gone to ask people whether i should invite pastor rod parsley's mother or not everybody would tell me don't try it don't try i started going near them people were talking people were talking oh these people they are white people oh. remember you are a black man oh. they are white people remember they are black people no during covid i think angus told me he was going to columbus i said when you go go and greet pastor rod pass give me the picture the man went to columbus pastor rod parsley came out of his room in his pajamas and that is him and angus that is him and angus that is him and angus listen we have crucified innocent people simply because they are aware of who they are they accept who they are and they act who they are we've given them all kinds of names and titles and insults they don't deserve this man when we go there and he finishes preaching or the meeting is over or i finish preaching we sit with him in his office he will cross his legs on a chair and chat with us for two hours i pray listen to me well there is a savior there is somebody who carries your blessing but there are people who are busy talking to you you cannot approach them you cannot approach them they will never help you you can never do and this they will never help you they will not help you they will not help you don't go they will not help you and a lot of the people god can use to help you people have driven you away from them with stories i have had experiences with two presidents two presidents in ghana president john mahama president nana dudanko ikufuadu these two men you know you think that you are a pastor you can't approach a president i'm in lagos a pastor has an accident in nando his head is broken he must get to accra otherwise he will die dr Moses Tabel, my good friend called me he said, Osofu, where are you? I said, I'm in, I'm in Lagos. Dr. Menso Table said, I have an, an emergency. One of our pastors, his head is broken. He's in Nandom, a pastor of ICGs. Can you help by calling the government so that they send the air ambulance to pick the guy to hospital? Otherwise, we are going to lose him. I was in Lagos with mommy. I called President John Mahama. I said, um, Your Excellency. He said, Where are you? I said, I'm in Lagos. But I have a problem. I have a pastor friend. He's a pastor of ICGC. He has had an accident in Nando. We need the air ambulance to carry him. He told me, he said, my brother, I'm going to call the air force commander and I'll be back with you in 30 minutes. In less than 10 minutes, he called me back. He said, he said, the air force commander is going to call you back in a few minutes by the time he put down the pool air force commander called he said pastor Eastwood, where are you i said i'm in lagos he said 
the president has given me your assignment consider it done by tomorrow your patient will be in Accra the plane went all the way to Wild Hospital picked up the patient and sent Pastor Peter Gagara to Accra and up till today Pastor Peter Gagara is alive I came to announce to you to stop listening to liars there are people that can help you and because they know who they are they are aware of who they are they are said who they are they are acting who they are people accuse them of pride and they drive them away from you then another person was sick this time in Cuba somebody was sick in Cuba went for treatment and had to come back home I was doing shepherd summit this was just before covid i was doing shepherd summit at the national theater and i got up and said let me go and meet president nana adodankwa ekufuado you know people will tell you that hey president i went there the house is called jubilee house it's not dodo house the jubilee house jubilee it means obi jubilee means obi so I went there and when I went, oh, Reverend, you are welcome, you are welcome. I said, I'm coming to see the big man. Do you have an appointment with me? I said, no. It's an emergency. They said, okay, we'll tell him you are here. I sat down for a few minutes. They came and said, he said, you should come. I went in. They, he said, you should come. But in the north, we say, that you should come. That's the way we say it in the north, that you should come. So I was just sitting at the gate, that you should come. So I went in, he saw me. He calls me Osofupeni. Osofupeni! And he said, I said, eh, I sat down. He said, I, I said, eh, I, had a I have two cases. And I put the, one of the cases down. I forgot him. I, I forgot him what the first case was. There, was. there was a case number one. I put it in front of him. Then, he has a way he does it. He'll be quiet and look at, looking at you and be right. And the one guy and say, money, you will dream of you. And then, Ochrobibi, say wow I think honorable knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> when you are telling him something and he wants to be careful about it, he writes because the man is a lawyer. So he he wrote down. And I said the other thing is that, that there is a, a son I have. There is somebody I know, a Ghanaian, who is in Cuba with other people. They are sick. They have to come home. I think it's, it was during the COVID, just the time the COVID was intensified. I said they have to come home. He looked at me. He wrote it down. He said, "So penny, it shall be done." within a few weeks they had sent to cuba and they had brought the people to ghana listen to me a lot of the saviors who can save you and help you people would drive you away from there hey don't go to the senior pastor you can never see him. you are going to pastor mike oh he won't mind you um you are going to see hey they won't mind you they, they, they will not mind you. Don't even go there. You are not fit to go there. Today, I came to declare that Jesus, one with God, equal with God, honored with God, receives the same glory as God the Father. 